and welcome back to my channel. Before we jump into my series of videos, I'd like to run the same intro that I'm going to run in every video that I do this week. If you are one of the people that put trans rights or human rights all up and down my YouTube, thank you. If you came from TikTok and you followed that video from TikTok and you listened and you said, hey, they're being gross and ugh, the super streets are being gross, thank you. Please continue. If you want to catch my attention, nothing will catch it faster than saying trans rights are human rights and Black Lives Matter all up and down my page. I will love you eternally for it. So if that's you, I heart you. Everything about you, I heart. There's no hate to her. When you read the comment, you'll understand that is not why this reached comments that annoy me. Because at the end of it, I want to send her a message, but let's just read the comment and then we'll talk about it. So many things about this make my stomach turn. This pastor and what he said about this breaks my heart that that he is going that he's doing this as if god says it i have struggled with weight depression image issues since elementary grade and i have been suicidal at certain points in my life and life and and the grounding fact that kept me or that kept me from giving in to the depression was the fact that god does not judge me by human standards and the bible says he loves me and even in my pain i would not be surprised if this pastor and his non-biblical opinion caused a cause a depression or a depressed woman to take her life. I'm sorry that you suffered with image problems and weight problems. I've been there as a teenager. I was super skinny as a teenager, but I suffered from image problems. I suffered from things that I don't want to get into on here, but I was suicidal. There were a couple suicide attempts when I was a teenager. I seriously considered taking my own life and I completely understand where you are coming from and um, if God helped you as an atheist, even if God, if God helps you get through the day, believing in God helps you feel better and gives you comfort, by all means, don't let pastors like this dissuade you. It doesn't sound like you do, but I agree with you that he has likely caused people to be depressed or suicidal thoughts. I don't know if he's actually responsible for the death of someone, but... I'm sure he did not help women who had women in his congregation who had um, issues with their imagery. I'm sure that it didn't help with marriages where men think that they dominate over women because he's basically implying that their needs become come before the woman's needs. And that is really depressing to me. And I completely and totally agree with you. And if my video in any way, shape or form made you feel uncomfortable or made you feel anything less than I would like to fully apologize for that I will probably start putting trigger warnings on videos like this I'll put it in the description down below from now on because I definitely don't want anyone to feel less than and I did not think about that and that is on me and I am deeply and truly and genuinely sorry um I hope that you are feeling better I hope that you know that at the end of the day you are valid you are beautiful and you are unique and wonderful and special so I just wanted to give you that message from me to you because reading that tore my little heart apart I do care for every viewer I do read my comments um I didn't respond to you immediately because I did not know how to respond to you in the best way possible I've given this video a great deal of thought over the past couple of days and how I would form that apology because again I don't know if I hurt you and that upsets me. So I hope that you are doing well. I hope you know that if you take comfort in God as an atheist, I fully support that. My mom is a diehard Christian who takes a great deal of comfort in her religion and I fully support if it helps you to continue to push forward with that path. Um, I don't know what else to say other than I, again, apologize if that video in any way, shape, or form made you uncomfortable or upset you in any way because all I was trying to do was, was bring attention to what that pastor was doing and the harm that he was doing, which you can clearly see because you responded in that way. But I just want to make sure that you are okay because I have also suffered from, from suicidal thoughts and body image issues, and I definitely would not want to upset or hurt anyone. So... Again, it's only titled comments that annoy me because that is how I respond. That's the little series comments that annoy me. You in no way, shape, or form annoyed me, so don't take the title. 
out of context. It just goes in with the series where I respond to comments because most of the time I'm not responding to nice comments. So by no means send this girl hate. And in fact, if you go back to the original video, um, send her some love because we could all use a little bit of love and care in this world and a little bit of niceness. All right, guys, I will see y'all later.